Welcome to the Mount Sinai Missionary Baptist Church of Memphis Incorporated YouTube channel. We're so delighted that you joined us uh, today and we pray that you're having a Merry Christmas and that your year in the future will be prosperous and that you will rejoice all year long. It's possible. Uh, let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day and we pray that you will uh, guide us through the recording of this production and that it will be a blessing to somebody. Help us to learn that uh, important lesson of being focused and staying focused on uh, as you seek to guide us throughout our lives that we can reach the blessings that you have in store for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our text for today is uh, found in Matthew's chapter 2 verse 9 through 11. Matthew chapter 2, verse 9 through 11, and it reads, uh, When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Uh, our subject for today is focus. Focus. You got to stay focused in life, or else you miss so much. Everybody cannot stay focused, but it's important that we individually and we as, a, 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 as God's people will learn the importance of staying focused. Now, i got uh, two little stories that I want to share before we really get into it, and I'm not going to take long. Uh, I learned the importance of focus when I was a teenager, and I haven't always been good at it. I'm just getting back to where I'm seeking to put to practice the importance of, fo of focusing so that I can reach the goals and reach the destinations that I set out for. And uh, as a teenager, I played baseball in Helena, Arkansas. I, I don't know if I introduced my wife, Lamona. She's from Helena. I'm from Helena. And this is our prompt focus. Uh, but playing baseball, one time in my life, I hit three home runs. And the, the, what I contribute that to is the grace of God and how he showed me how to focus. Focus, first of all, my body, all of me, on what I was doing. With the bat in my hand, focus, I focused on uh, uh, getting my body, the bat, and the ball, as the pitcher threw it to me, or towards me, to focus on that ball. Everything was focused on the ball, and I swung and hit at the right time, and over the fence, the ball, the ball went. Three times in one game, the only time I ever hit home runs. And I played baseball for years. But it would, it, I contributed to focus. And now I, I play golf. I don't play baseball anymore, but I play golf. And I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on uh, the idea that if you keep the ball in the fairway, it will take you to the green. And on the green, it's easy to hit the ball in the hole or cup. So focus is very important. Focus in life. If you want to achieve your goals in life, you got to learn to focus. If you want to reach the destinations in life that you want to, you got to learn to focus. In our text, we have three men, magis, that uh, set out from, on a journey to find the Lord, the Messiah, Jesus, who was a baby at the time. But now you got to understand that Jesus, even though he was in the form of a baby, he was able as an adult to say before uh, a a uh, Abraham was, I am. So Jesus was in the beginning. He was the word, the, 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 the expressed word of God, the Logos, then there's so much power in the Logos, the breathed word of God. And if we would allow him to guide us through his word, then it would be much easier for us to reach our destinations, to reach the, 
the places in, in all forms of life, exercise our physical uh, well-being, our financial well-being, our relationship, uh, all would fall into place if we would learn to focus. And God's word is what we need to focus. And the Holy Spirit has been assigned to help us to stay focused in life by focusing and understanding God's word. Everybody is not able to do that. The king, for instance, was interested in finding Jesus, but he did not know he did not know where to look. But these magi's who in this modern day would be called astrologers. You know, you, oh, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Astrologers, we got some Sagittarius, some Aquarius, and some some uh, Virgos and some Leos and and all of that. Uh, in the audience today, and you're watching me now, acting like you're not into the, the the zodiac signs and stuff, but that's what they were. And and it's not important what they were, just like in this day and age, it's not important what a, what title a person has, or what they wear, or, or, or you know, or like the suits and the, the, the ladies that have the church hats on, it's not about that. Now, I'm not kicking that, dress well. But then don't let that be your main focus. You know, gentlemen's walking around with the Imani suits and stuff on with the with the, the stylish kicks and everything. That's not what it's all about. It's about the little baby that these magis came in search of. Now, uh, three, th three things that we learn in, in these three texts. The first one is fellowship. The second one is, uh, uh, along with fellowship, you must have fellowship. And then the third one is worship. So fellowship, fellowship, and worship will help us to stay focused. Now, these uh, three men, they left from where they were, headed to where they didn't know where they were going. They were just following the star. The important thing that we learn from them is that you can't look all around. You can't look at everybody that's around you. You can't be focused on people. You can't be focused on what's going on. Even in our country, even in this situation where we're faced with a pandemic, even though they've got a uh, 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 vaccine that is now being uh, spread throughout the United States, you really can't focus on that. You've got to know the right place to focus. King David focused on the hill from which cometh his help. He says, my help comes from the Lord. Even though he was looking at the hill, he knew that his help came from the Lord. And if we would learn to focus right, these three magis focused on the star. And the star took them to where they wanted to go. They did not know when they reached the destination until they noticed that the star stopped. Now, you have to recognize where the star was. It was in view of everybody, but everybody couldn't see it because everybody didn't know how to focus. These magis understood that the star that they were to follow was up. And in this pandemic age, you've got to learn to look up and live. Stay focused on the right thing because the Lord will see us through this. Uh, he's more powerful than any vaccine. Take the vaccine. They are so helpful. But remember to stay focused on the Lord. Now, so they travel following the star. And it helped them to stay focused. Th their fellowship, you know, it, it, it's difficult to to follow or to lead rather where you don't know how to follow. We've got a president now that evidently don't understand the importance of 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 fellowship. And the result is he don't know how to lead. So if you ever have aspirations of leading anybody, if you're a little brother and want to if you're a big brother and want to lead your little brother. If you're a Sunday school teacher, if you are a chief usher, uh, uh, what, a pastor, whatever it is, you're leading in some capacity, you need to know how to follow before you can ever be effective in leading. And you got to stay focused on what's guiding you. Second thing is 
fellowship. Fellowship is found in the fact that they brought gifts. Now, the text doesn't indicate it, but I believe that each individual magi had their own gift. One had the gold, one had the frankincense, and one had the myrrh. And one was no more important than the other. And we've got to understand that what's in us is not what's in it. What we have is not the important thing if we learn how to stay focused. By staying focused, we understand that Jesus is the main thing. He's the plain thing, but he's also the main thing. And we've got to learn as a people to learn to focus on the plain thing that will take us to the main thing instead of looking for something big or something important or whatnot, or even trying to make ourselves important. Uh, now, from uh, they, they brought and presented their gifts, all of them, they, the, 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 the focus is not on the gifts, but it's on uh, who they were bringing the gifts to, in essence, to Jesus. And they presented it to, but they found Mary and the baby. And with them three, it was more than, you know, God says, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there will I be in the midst. There was five. And one of them was Jesus, kind of like the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that found themselves in the fiery furnace. And in the, with them right there in the fiery furnace, Jesus Christ showed up. And even the enemy was able to recognize them. Uh, was able to recognize Jesus with his people. So there was fellowship. They followed the star. There was fellowship. They presented their gifts together. And, and, and in, in, in God's house and following uh, Jesus Christ, we've got to learn the importance of fellowship. You can't be fellowshipping. Uh, you can fellowship at home and you can fellowship by yourself, in your car, wherever. But there's an important time that we need to learn to cooperatively fellowship together. And that means that when, when we've got to learn to join together to praise God for what he has done in our life. What he has done, you know, every day that we wake up, we woke up because the Lord did something. Every breath we take, every time our heart beats, the Lord has done something. And he didn't do it for one, but he did it for us all. And we've got to learn the importance of, of fellowship together. How can two walk together except they be agreed? And to be in agreement means that you've got to express it together. Last thing, and I'm out of here. Uh, they worshiped. If you can get fellowship right, if you can get fellowship right, then worship just comes into place. And you cannot worship together or individually Unless you're focused right, and you got to got to have the what you you, you got to know what you're following or who you're following, and it got to be the right object. It got to be somebody that it's in a place where you can look up and follow them. Somebody that you can even look up to or up at. They got fellowship right. They got fellowship right, and now they are able to worship. Look at their posture. They humbled themselves. They bowed and worshiped the Savior. They recognized him when they followed uh, the star to him. They found Mary and they found, the, they found Mama and they found the baby. Now, you have to understand that they had been looking for Jesus, not the three, three uh, magis, but, but the nation of Israel had been looking for the Messiah to come, to arrive for a number of years. And now he has arrived, and, 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 and a lot of times folks go to church for years, and they never notice Jesus. You got to be focused right to notice Jesus. He can be right in your midst all the time and, and for years. And if you miss him, you miss out on your opportunity to worship and the opportunity to be blessed. They worshiped him. They were together. And they learned from focusing 
fellowship, then they were able to worship. And when you're able to worship, you're basically uh, ascribing to God what he's worth to you. And I don't know about anybody else, but you might be tired of hearing me say it, but every time you tune in to the Mount Sinai Missionary Baptist Church or Memphis Incorporated YouTube channel, most likely you're going to hear me say one Friday on an old rugged cross, he hung, bled, and he died. He did that for me, and he did it for you. And he didn't hesitate about it. He was focused. He said, for this purpose came I into the world. And he achieved his goal. He met his purpose in life. And now he's sitting at the right hand of the Father, making intercessions for us. Because he stayed focused. In the year to come, learn how to stay focused. Get your fellowship right. Get your fellowship right. And get your worship right. Now the story doesn't end with him dying. They buried him in the borrowed tomb. He was there for three days. But early the third day morning, he rose with all power in heaven and in earth in his hand. And he's got power to, to make sure that we are directed right so that we can follow the, go into, in the, go, make, the right, make it to the right destination. He's able to do that. And he'll do it for each and every one of us. He will show us how to make it through this pandemic. He will make it, show us how to make it through abuse and heartaches and hard times and hard knocks. But you got to know how to follow. He will teach you how to participate in, in, in fellowship. They continued in the early church, they continued steadfastly daily in prayer, and in breaking of bread. So talking to God in prayer and God talking to them through breaking of bread are his word. And they grew. God added to the church daily. They stayed focused. So promise me, in 2021, you're going to work on staying focused. And that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Lamona, for joining us. Thank you, Louisville Slugger. You did a good job, both of you. Last of all, stay focused by wearing your mask, uh, practicing social distancing, and practicing uh, good sanitary habits by washing your hands and whatnot. And the Lord will guide us safely through this pandemic. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your word today. We pray that you'd give the increase and somebody will be blessed in the form of uh, being able to stay focused. That they'll focus on the plain thing, which is the main thing. Your son, that little baby that was in the manger, that your star that you put in the sky guided them to. And you're so good at bringing people together in the right place at the right time to, rec to receive blessings from you. And we thank you. And we're anticipating that you're going to continue to do that in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we'll see you farther on up the road. Take care. Bye-bye. Love you.